Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here and welcome back to another random match here on WWE 2K16. Today we're going to see Seth Rollins taking on Apollo Crews and this one has been suggested by Matthew Harvey and this will be a really good match actually. I'm hoping at some point in the future we do get to see this match because I think the styles would mesh really, really well. Uh, I think we're desperate for Seth to come back from injury at the moment because it's just not the same place without him. It really isn't. He's just He added so much to the roster. It's, it's sad for him to be out for so long and Apollo Crews... I'm waiting to see what they finally do with him, because at the moment, they're still putting him over. Um, they've been doing that consistently since WrestleMania. He's been winning matches easily against some very easy opponents. He's not actually been pitted against anyone very difficult as of yet. So it'd be interesting to see where they finally place him when, when he finally gets put into the... When he finally gets put into the, the actual roster properly, rather than just being put over like he is. Is he going to slot into the, the Intercontinental Championship picture, or... Is he going to slot into the United States Championship picture or something like that? That's what I can see him doing. Maybe uh, going on to face off against the Miz for the IC Championship is probably going to be the best place for him. Uh, it sort of makes sense anyway. But uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens. And especially when Seth comes back, are they going to put him straight back in the title picture? I think they will. I think they'll bring him straight back into the title picture. The one thing they're going to have to watch is if they're still trying to push Roman Reigns as a face, then bringing back Seth Rollins as a heel is just not going to work at all. I've... I've been reading a few reports recently of people that have been at the the most recent episodes of Raw and SmackDown. And they've said they were there live and they've watched it televised as well. And they've said the difference in the crowd on the TV compared to what is there live is, is absolutely incredible. I think there was a match about a week or so ago on SmackDown. It might have been this week actually where it was The Miz facing off against Roman Reigns. And obviously The Miz is being pushed as being one of the major heels on the roster. Roman Reigns obviously trying to be pushed as one of the major faces. And the people in the crowd were saying that Roman Reigns got the biggest boo of the entire night. Yet people were cheering the Miz. And I think that's one thing WWE have to have to realise. I think that they need to sort themselves out. They need to just to turn him heel because at the moment if they just put him heel it would just work so well. Because the fans already hate him. You send him heel and all of a sudden you've you've got a pre made number one heel there have him hold the championship even align him with the usos and have have some sort of stable of heels which i see as a possibility for payback i'm hoping that does happen i'm hoping roman reigns uh what, what i hope happens is aj styles is backstage middle of the night and says to anderson and gallows look i want to do this on my own can you guys leave anderson and gallows leave uh, aj styles is roman reigns the referee gets taken out the usos come down the usos take out aj styles Anderson and Gallows are nowhere to be seen because they've already left the arena. And Reigns and the Usos go heel as a stable together. That's what I would like to see happen at Payback. Whether that's what WWE do or not, that's a different question. But for me, it's just a, it's a little bit of a waste because they're trying to push this guy as a face when he so obviously would be a fantastic heel at the moment. People don't like him as it is. So to put him over as a heel would just work perfectly for me. And then that would mean that Seth could come back as a face, potentially, and go on against Roman Reigns. I don't know whether they'll bring Seth back and put him straight in a feud with Roman Reigns for the championship, or whether they may whether they may look at maybe putting Seth straight in a feud with Triple H, which is another one of the rumours that have been knocking around. Of course, uh, Triple H, leader of the authority beforehand, and Seth was the, the, the face of the authority. But I don't know. I, I just feel there could be a storyline there between... Maybe Seth saying that when, when he went out injured, Triple H and Stephanie didn't care. They didn't check on him. They just replaced him with Sheamus straight away and just got on with it. And no one's no one's cared about Seth being out of the ring for so long. And I think that potentially could be the beginning of a face turn and a big storyline for Seth. And potentially going on to face off against Triple H at the pay-per-view. Well, at a pay-per-view. Maybe SummerSlam um, is something they can work towards. I don't know if Seth's going to be fully fit by the time SummerSlam comes around. It's a shame he's going to be so close to being missing for an entire year. It's insane, isn't it, when you think about it? It makes you wonder what would have been the storyline if it wasn't for these injuries. If Cena was still around and if uh, Seth was still around, uh, if Bray Wyatt wasn't injured for WrestleMania, what matches would have been on that card? Because I'm just interested to see really what would have, what would have gone ahead. Seth looking for a, a suplex and Apollo Crews to have a few punches to the gut. I see Apollo Crews being a very, very good intercontinental champion. I think he's incredible in the ring. He, he's got the right looks. 
He's uh, he's definitely got the ability in the ring. He's very agile and very, very strong. But the one thing that I think he may lack a little bit is just a bit of presence on the mic. And I don't know whether that might hold him back or or what. Because he's not had a lot of chance so far just to talk on the mic. And I think that would be a good thing to see how far he can go in this. I think definitely Intercontinental United States Championship are definitely an area that Cruz can go for. And I, I'm a massive Cruz fan. I've met him a few times and I've watched him wrestle live. And he's oh, when you see it live, it just you really understand how how against gravity the sort of stuff he does actually happens it's incredible but it'd be interesting to see just where he slots in like i say i see him slotting in more as uh, an intercontinental champion or united states champion and this is a pretty even match this one i think stats wise there's not too much of a difference as well i think seth is slightly ahead of cruz and there's the pin and apollo cruz does kick out after the two count of course, both these guys are involved in our universe mode. I think Apollo Crews is on Raw, I believe. I'm still trying to... Uh, struggling to remember who's on what brand. I don't think he is on Raw. I've got a feeling that Crews is actually on Nitro. I'm not 100% sure. Seth is definitely on... Uh, Seth's on SmackDown. I know that. So, yeah, they're definitely both people we want to see a lot more of. I think Seth actually had a number one contendership match last week. He faced off against Shawn Michaels in the main event of SmackDown. So that was a, a really good match, as you can really imagine. Those two guys in the ring together would be incredible. As Apollo Crews has Seth up top. And is he looking here for potential super Samoan drop? What a move that is. Crews now with a big knee drop to the face of Seth Rollins as well. Bringing Seth back up to his feet. Front chancery and... Seth manages to break free from, from Apollo Crews and getting control for a second. Sending Crews over the top rope, crashing down to the ground below. And Seth looking to follow him out there, bringing Crews back up to his feet. Oh, and straight into the apron. Seth now with a front chanter and a big knee to the face of, of Apollo Crews as well. Seth sending Crews into the ring. Loving blow across the back and now catches Apollo into the Dragon Suplex. And Seth, I think, now is finally taking control of this match. Looking potentially for a belly to belly there, but Cruz broke free with the elbow to the forehead and a great running in Seguri as well. Going straight for the pin, hoping he's knocked Seth out and there's a possibility of a kick like that. Oh, it's only a two count. Not quite enough to keep him down for the three. And I would not be surprised if, if Apollo Crews is one of the people that is going to be added on to WWE 2K17. I'm, I'm hoping that's going to be the case. There's a standing moonsault. I think guys like Seth, I think there's a... Sorry, guys like Apollo Crews and... Uh, I'm hoping AJ Styles is on there because he did debut in January. So I believe, from what I've been reading, that 2K were at WrestleMania doing a lot of the scans. So... If they were there at WrestleMania, that means that Gallows and Anderson were a backstage for WrestleMania as well. So they could have scanned both of those. It means they would have had a chance to scan Nakamura. Um, they could have scanned Austin Aries. So a lot of the newer signings would have been scanned. And I'm sure, of course, this time we're going to get Sasha Banks, uh, Becky Lynch, Charlotte. I would imagine Bailey as well. So that's going to be a pretty good one. There's another Super Samoan drop by Apollo Crews. I have today booked off the last week in October as holiday, um, hoping that that coincides with the release of, of 2K17. I'm sure it's not going to be too far away. Cruz now with the, the camel clutch just wrenching back at the neck of Seth Rollins. Releases him. Now Seth slowly getting back up to his feet, but Cruz catches him. Takes him up high and down into the suplex. Quite an even match between these two guys. I thought Seth was was in control earlier on, but now it looks like Cruz is really in control. So uh be interesting to see who just pulls the victory off in this one. It'd be a massive win for, for Apollo Cruz if he can pull it off. And it's only a two count. Oh, boot to the face there by Cruz and now bringing Seth back up and takes him up and down with a suplex once again. This match has been going for quite a while now, but Cruz still showing strength. Some big elbows to the face there of Seth. 
We're yet to see either man actually pull off their uh, their finisher manoeuvre. I'm, I'm not sure what um, Apollo's finisher manoeuvre is set on this game. Is it the standing moonsault or is it? I don't know what it actually is on this game. I'll have to check. I've got a feeling it could be the standing moonsault as his finisher. Which if it is, that means he's already used it. Seth, I think I've taken the pedigree away from Seth, so he would be using the uh, he would be using the curb stomp. Which if you saw our uh, our match last week, you would have seen Shawn Michaels reverse the curb stomp into an RKO. How incredible that moment was. <laughs> Definitely worth a watch. Of course, if you check out my channel, we are currently doing this universe mode. We've got four brands on the go. We've got Nitro, Raw, Thunder and Smackdown. Uh, we drew all the brands out of a hat in like a big draft. So that episode's on the uh, on the old YouTube as well. But we had some cracking matches so far. Seth after the buckle bomb, not quite enough. It's getting close though. It's getting very, very close to that elusive free count. But it's not quite enough to keep the big man down. Cruz taking Seth up. Looks like he's going for some sort of razor's edge. No. Seth broke free into the neck breaker. Dropping a knee into the face of Apollo Cruz as well. Seth brings him back up to his feet. Spins him round potentially. No, he's going to go for a Saita. I thought he might be going for another Dragon Suplex. Seth now looking to go up top. I think I may have also given the Phoenix Splash as a finisher. I can't honestly remember what I did now. I've done it so long ago. We are going to see the Phoenix Splash though. And I see. I see. Seth going for the pin. His feet are up on the ropes. One. Two. Oh, it's only a two count. You think to yourself, if Seth would have pinned Apollo Crews straight from the Phoenix Splash rather than trying to pull him towards the ropes, he might have actually won that one there and then. Seth now looking to lock in Crews to the Tree of Woe. Where's Seth going now? He's he's up on top. And oh, the double foot stomp to the, uh, to the chest of... Of Apollo Cruz, shades of low key there. Who spent a very small amount of time. Whoa, that's a dodgy uh, Quesadora. He spent a little bit of time in the WWE, of course, as Caval. Unfortunately, never really took off. WWE never really gave him an opportunity. It's a shame because he's such a fantastic wrestler, low key. I don't know if he's still going. I think he might be over in Japan at the moment. Only a two count. Both guys slowly back up to their feet. Seth catching Apollo Crews. There's the Northern Light suplex. And Seth going over the top row. What's he got planned? Is he just taking a breather here? Yeah, Seth just taking a breather. Just a few seconds. Oh, Seth's, Seth's leaving. What? Seth, Seth's walking out of here. Seth's had enough. Cruz is not having that though. Cruz is going to follow him up the, up the ramp. I've seen this before a few times in, in games. It's like, yeah, they get frustrated and they stop. But the problem is, is that when they get to a five count, they generally run back to the ring. And now we've got Apollo Crews and Seth Rollins fighting at the top of the ramp here. The problem is, is this going to end up as a double count out now? This could possibly end up as a double count out. Cruz just slamming the knee of Seth into the, into the mat. I don't know what the referee's count's up to now. My telly's on mute. We go, the referee's got to a five count and both guys making their way. No. Seth's had enough. Seth's out of it. If Cruz slides back in, he wins this match. We've had some very, very strange endings to matches on this game. But that's the first time I think I've seen a voluntary count out. And there we go. That's quite clever though, because in a way that, that could quite possibly happen. If Seth was to, to make a comeback and Apollo Crews was to have this sort of match with him, it could get to a point where Seth goes, you know what, I don't want this, and walks out on the match. And it's actually not, not a very bad finish. I know I sometimes like to avoid uploading videos like this, but I think this was actually quite good. I quite like this. It was a it was a really good match and the way it ended was was quite was quite strange as well. And it'd be interesting to see if we get stuff like this happen in the universe mode. I've not had anything like this in universe mode before. I've had people walk up to the top of the ramp, but normally 
when it gets to a five count, they sprint back and they change their mind and they get back in the ring. But in this case, Seth decided he was going to stay up there. Apollo Crews slowly walked back to the ring, got back in the ring. Referee counted up to the 10 and Apollo Crews picks up an easy win. Well, I say an easy win. He picked up a win by count out. And there you go. See, Cruz just, he's not even bothering to run back. He just casually walks back and slides back in the ring. And uh, the replay is just going to show the crowd. Great. And uh, yeah, the referee counts up to the 10 count. And uh, yeah, bit of an odd finish, that one. Bit of an odd finish, but it was effective. Very effective for Apollo Crews, who does pick up a big, big victory in this random match. Not what I was expecting. But yeah, a really great, a really good match that was, actually. So like I said, that match was suggested by Matthew Harvey. So if anyone else has any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll get them all done onto my list. I must say my list is absolutely massive at the moment. Um, I must have about 30 odd matches on there. So your match might take a few uh, days or maybe even a week or two to get recorded and uploaded. But uh, I do promise I will get them through them all eventually. I uh, hope you have enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have, then please do hit that like button. And of course, if you are new around here, to be sure to subscribe for a lot more of WWE 2K16 footage. And of course, check out my channel if you are interested in the universe mode. We've got four brands ongoing at the moment. We just uploaded our first pay-per-view a few days ago. That was fully loaded for the Nitro and Thunder brands. And they had some really good matches, including a main event between Kevin Owens and Shinsuke Nakamura. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you.